Packages provide a way to add functionality on top of Adonis and easily reuse them across multiple projects. In this course, we will learn how to create an Adonis JS package and publish it to NPM. By the end of the course, we will have a production ready package that anyone can install and use in their Adonis projects. Also, we will have an Adonis package development starter boilerplate that you can use to create your Adonis packages. The package we'll be building will be based on the implementing GitHub-like confirm password in Adonis JS tutorial. So let's dive in. We will be using Adonis MRM to scaffold the package. Adonis MRM is basically a preset of tags for MRM, which is a command line tool for scaffolding new projects and keeping their configurations in sync. So let's start by creating a new directory for the project. Make directory adonis-confirm-password and cd into it. Then I'll use npm in needs to initialize an npm project while using the default configurations. Now we can install MRM and the Adonis MRM presets. npm install MRM and at adonis.js slash MRM dash presets. They will be installed as dev dependencies. Once installed, next I'm going to add a script to make it easy to use MRM with the Adonis presets. So I'm going to open the project in my preferred code editor. And inside package.json, we will add a new script. In this course, we are not going to cover testing, so I'm going to get rid of this and add the new script, which we will call MRM. And the command will be MRM dash dash presets equals atadonis.js slash MRM dash presets. Now, using the script, we can run the MRM init command. npm run MRM init. This will ask us a couple of questions. The git URL in my case is going to be github.com slash labs slash adonis dash confirm dash password for the minimum node version that the project will support we are going to select the stable version as at the time of this recording it is 16.13.1 of course we can change this later on is this a package written by adonis code team no i will select yes to automatically generate table of content for the readme file and i'm going to select the license as mit I'm not going to select any CI services, so I'm going to enter. I'm not going to select any here also. The init command is done, and it has updated the package.json file with the details we supplied. And also it has initialized git in the project and add the remote origin. Let's head back to VS Code and look at some of the changes. As you can see, we now have a new MRM config block with the details we supplied. Finally, we need to run the MRM task. So npm run MRM all. We want to run all the tasks. The all command will run all the tasks and it will create the necessary files and install all the necessary dependencies. Now all the tasks have been executed. Let's head back to VS Code once more and look at some of the changes again. As you can see, new scripts have been added to the project as well as other details like ESLint config, prettier, committeezing. To learn more about the tasks that the Adonis MRM preset provides, you can head over to the GitHub repo and check them out. Along the line in the course, we will update and tweak some of them, but for now, we will leave it like this. To wrap up this lesson, let's update the TS config file and add some compiler options. We are going to set experimental decorators to true, then emit decorator metadata to true as well. And lastly, we are going to set skip live check to true. This will do for now. Again, along the course of the course, we will come back to it and update it accordingly. In the next lesson, we will start building the package.